All right, ladies and gentlemen, kicking this bout off, making his debut. Weighing in out of the blue corner, 144 pounds, standing at six foot tall, representing Wanderlei Brazilian Jiu Jitsu from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Dominic Dirty Boy D'Agostino. And his opponent out of the red corner, a veteran of one fight, weighing in at 145 pounds, standing at five foot seven inches, representing Team ASD from Harvey, Illinois, fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, McKendall, heavy hands, pay! And your referee for the action is Mike Sim. Mike Sims, third man in the, the hexagon. We got Mc, uh, McCandle Payne in the black and purple trunks. On the other side, a very focused Dominic D'Agostino in black spandex. Touch of gloves. And we are looking at a championship height in Dominic D'Agostino at six foot tall. He's going to have a tremendous amount of reach, and he needs to use it against the bigger, stronger Mikel Payne. Yeah, you know, you got a 31 year old um, you know, opponent in Mikel Payne. There speaks, I mean, there's, there's a big difference in age sometimes and maturity. Good deep leg kick by Dominic. Oh, caught by Payne. Take down. Big dump. So Dominic D'Agostino has got a deep, he's got a deep guillotine right now. Cross face by Payne, trying to get him on himself out of there. Good work. Let's see what, uh, what type of guard game Dominic has being from Wanderlei Gym. Yeah, Daniel Wanderley, obviously a black belt under Carlson Sr. Heavy punch. You know, Dominic at 18 years old, he's going to have to, you know, this is where maturity comes in. you got a 31-year-old um, opponent, and, um, you know, that's not always easy. Sometimes that is an advantage, I'd you know, like to life see, experience. I'd like to see a little bit more uh, posture control out of Dominic. He's kind of just letting uh, Mikel sit up and do what he wants. Um, but he's got good hip movement. He's really attacking sweeps and bumps and... You know, right now at you know senior year of high school or just out of high school, there's a lot of uh, adrenaline dumps and things of that nature. Uh, Dominic seems to be handling it well. Well, what were you doing right out of high school, Mike? Man, dude, I was traveling the world, and we have got we have got a deep triangle. Yes, it is. And a slam by Mikael Payne, but that triangle. Good, he's turning the corner, trapping the leg. That's only going to make it tighter. Oh my gosh, full mount, mounted triangle by Dominic oh. D'Agostino. Raining down punches is Dominic. Left, right punches, and there is no quit in Mikhail Payne. What a move to try to get out of that. He's still deep. Dominic's doing a good job of dra grabbing the shin and tucking it back oh under his God. knee. Dude, Mikhail Payne is in a world of trouble and refusing to tap out. Definitely needs to sit back on his butt and look to the ceiling. Oh, There's my tap. gosh. Tap out Dominic wow. D'Agostino. Let me tell you something. That was incredible maturity on that young kid in Dominic D'Agostino, Nick Rogers. He didn't get spooked. He didn't get uh, uh, nervous about losing it. He stuck with it the entire time, and it paid off. And, and, and uh, Mikhail, I, I tell you, pain, that triangle, I think about 99% of that locker room would have tapped a lot earlier in that. Yes, sir. Yeah, Jeff Waldrum, Leo Valdez in the corner, and Mike Rota. Um, very, very impressive. Uh, and, and, and Payne as well. It's just, I mean, you got a Daniel Wanderlei kid that's been there for three years. And you ask him, hey, you know, so what sports did you play in high school? No, 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 I, I did jiu-jitsu jiu in MMA. Yeah. <laughs> and it, like I said, they're doing something right. It paid off tonight with a sick, sick triangle choke submission. Yeah, very impressive. 18 years of age, too. Right now, I mean, it's now he gets to go see his high school friends exactly <laughs> all right ladies and gentlemen your winner at the two minute and 47 mark of the first round dominic dirty boy d'agostino yeah look at his sportsmanship by Payne. that's a that's a class act right there and you wouldn't expect anything less out of the academy of self-defense